Welcome back to the channel for another College TIA review. Today we'll be looking at Dr. Wu DWEO2 and DWEO3 Big Surge and Intelligence Officer. So let's have a look at the box here. Again, great art from Dr. Wu. In the front, there's Intelligence Officer, aka Soundwave. Shots of the two actual toys on the back, very nicely done. And here we have Big Surge, aka Beachcomber. Five centimeter line. Let's have a look with, start with Big or Intelligence Officer or Sound Wave. I think Dr. Wu's interpretation of Sound Wave is fantastic. Really capturing the G1 aesthetic here. Taking a look at that face sculpt, really nicely painted all around. Even with the red on the forearms there, we have the buttons at the waist and silver on the shins along with this gunmetalish color for the feet. So very nicely detailed and the chest looks fantastic with the yellow stripes on the side and yellow outline. Smidge bit of paint bleed around the edges there, um, but he's so tiny, it's probably just accentuated. I think he looks really, really good. Um, one downside is he does not come with Soundwave's gun, uh, which is too bad, but nonetheless, he is still an amazingly well done figure. And there's a, the button up top there is painted in silver too. Uh, take a look Oops, at the back. You can see he has got you know, screws and pin joints throughout, which is fantastic, very durable ABS construction, just like all these Dr. Wu figures. In terms of articulation, he has a ball joint at the head, so he can look side to side. He can look, can't quite look down. He can look up to a very great degree because of transformation. And he can, of course, turn to each side. Actually, when you turn them, you could almost get him look down a little bit. At shoulders, we have hinge joints, so he can rotate the full 360, come out all the way to 90, and then at the elbows, we do get a full 90 degree bend. And then nothing at the wrists, the standard Dr. Wu fists, just like with Optimus Prime and the majority of the other figures. For sure, check out some of my other reviews on the channel. And then going down the line, we got, he actually does have a waist rotation like Dr. Wu's Blaster, who I also reviewed, please check that out. Which is a really nice feature for such a tiny figure, having that waist rotation is fantastic and something that Hasbro's core class feature actually does not incorporate, so this guy's already more articulated. Then in terms of the legs, we can kick out all the way to 90 there, do the full split. We can get forwards and so this piece here is actually a separate flap so you can't quite kick forward all the way but depending on how you manipulate that knee joint you can get him to come forward a little further and he can kick back to a pretty good degree there and then at the knee we have a full 90 degree bend backwards and then the feet are excellent with ball joints at the bottom so for extra extra range of motion there and then he actually can, you can kick him out a little bit because of transformation. So very well articulated figure. I'm bringing in the core class sound wave for comparison. Here is core class sound wave and you can see major, major size difference between the two with this guy being almost the same size as the core class laser beak there. So quite the contrast, amazingly well done to by Dr. Wu to capture the G1 aesthetic of Soundwave in such a small size. And real quick before we get them transformed, here is the Dr. Wu Optimus Prime, Prime Commander together. They scale very, very nicely with one another. 
look great. And now let's get them transformed, because that is the next amazing part of these figures, is they actually can transform. So to start, remove that shoulder cannon. That's just a little peg there. Rotate the head around, and then drop it down and back. And then the other, so the other joint you could use um, as a, in robot mode, as he does kind of have this reverse joint here, which you can almost use as like a half butterfly joint. But before we do that, there actually is a slider here on Doctor, on this guy, which Doctor Who actually has been made use of before with Optimus Prime and Optimus's legs. And so this actually just unclicks from that lower joint and then clicks up into the upper joint. We do that on both sides. So unclick it from the bottom joint and then it just clicks up into the top joint. Very well done. Works flawlessly. And then there's just tabs on the bottom here of Soundway's back along with a slot in the bottom of the arm and everything just lines up like so. Then for the feet, we want to rotate them around such that this the shin aligns with the inside and you can see there's a slot here for this tab. Just bring that up and then for the toes, these rotate around. And then there is a tab here on the inside of the foot that tabs into um, this tab on the back of the leg. So I just maneuver all of that into place, lines up, do the same thing on the other side, rotate this around, snap the leg into place, rotate that foot down, and snap that into place. And then last but not least, we want to take his shoulder cannon and peg it into the back there. There's just a little peg underneath the head and it holds perfectly in the center. And here is intelligence officer or sound wave all transformed into his cassette player mode. And I think this looks fantastic. The paint applications really shine through on this, even with the right and the left sides on here. Um, the mold detailing is fantastic. Carries over perfectly from the robot mode. And then the back cleans up very cleanly. He is uh, very, very good looking, especially in comparison to the Core Class Soundwave, who doesn't clean up quite as well, I would say. Now, for a comparison with Dr. Wu's Sound Master or Blaster. Here are the two, and I think Boombox is a cassette player. They're pretty good looking between the two. Definitely both high quality figures and very nicely done. So putting Soundwave off to the side, let's have a look at the other figure in this two pack, that being Big Surge or otherwise known as Beachcomber. It doesn't have a big part in the G1 cartoon, but nonetheless, it's kind of a fun figure. Talks like a surf dude and transforms into a dune buggy. And Dr. Wu, again, fantastic job capturing his look from the cartoon. The silver visor, a few little yellow paint applications, but otherwise, mainly just solid colors. And looks pretty good. Robot mode, again using those screws and pins at a lot of locations for his joints. In terms of articulation, we actually don't get anything at the head kind of due to how it just sits in here for transformation to be flush as a car, which is all right. And I mean, for a figure this small, it is already very hard to actually manipulate that kind of joint. The shoulders, as always, we get that full range of motion with the ball joint, and then we get a 90 degree bend at the elbow. I think the wrist, this his fist actually is different from the conventional Dr. Wu fist seen in some of the other figures that I have reviewed, which is interesting. I'm guessing it's just for size, and then it's also due to transformation purposes. Now, we don't get any kind of waist rotation, which is too bad. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to fit, I would say, in this guy, especially the way we have the whole roll cage built in, but we do get ball joints at.
the thighs which can kick out all the way to a great deal and then back very very far way past 90 there from the vertical position and then forward to 90. very nice and then we also get uh due to transformation very far range of motion at the knee there so overall very poseable figure i'll just do a quick size comparison with dr Wu's prime commander of course and i think they scale pretty nicely with one another prime being a good bit taller than Beachcomber in the cartoon, and that reflected here between the two models. And then just real quick here, since I have them handy, I'll just take a look next to Core Class Soundwave, just for a general size class comparison. See, yes, very, very tiny. And transformation for this guy is fairly straightforward. You just want to straighten out the arms, and then there's tabs on the inside of the arm here, these slots go and interact with this tab and just straighten them all out. Then the feet, just want to bring them together. They just tap together and then rotate this whole thing around. And then the fists should just kind of rest on top of these little tabs here on the legs. And it all lines up very simply, very quickly. Nice and easy to transform, a lot like the original toy. And there's Beachcomber in his G1 Doom Buggy. And rolls fantastic, of course, with Dr. Wu's use of pin joints everywhere and nice tire tread detail. And just for a quick vehicle mode comparison with Hasbro product, here is a MicroMaster from Siege Line. And as you can see, Beachcomber is a lot, lot smaller. Dr. Wu's Beachcomber. So, again, very impressive size wise from Dr. Wu. Any other two figures together? Robot mode. And I think this is another fantastic two pack from Dr. Wu. They keep outputting these great figures, and I can't wait for more to come. There's rumors of a Megatron, so, cross my fingers that comes soon. And I'll definitely be sure to review it once I pick it up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.